I'm going live. I wanted to share a testimony. I'm on Facebook as well, so. <clears throat> hey, hi everybody. I wanted to go live and I wanted to share a testimony. Um, more testimonies of what God have, has been doing. I am just so excited and uh, I wanted to just share what God has done. So I had a one-on-one -on -one session with a lady um, August, 9th, August 18th of this month. And she said that she had fibroid tumors and this these tumors were causing so much pain in her body. Um, turns out that uh, it was so painful, it was causing so much hemorrhaging and this had been going on um, all this year. Um, I don't know exact dates, but you guys, we prayed and the very next day she went to the doctor and the doctor did not see the fibers. It was 10 of them. 10 gone jesus completely took it away hallelujah that's our jesus he is so so good and he loves us and he is healing anyone who needs to be healed we can just go to jesus and experience that breakthrough and healing hallelujah i was sharing with her my testimony i was diagnosed with fibroids in year um 2000 and i prayed some self-deliverance prayers breaking those agreements telling that stuff to go that i didn't want it the pain from it to go and um yeah that same year i went to my doctor and they didn't see anything the following year they didn't see anything the following year after that they didn't see anything 22 years later no fibroid tumors three babies later no fibroid tumors so i just really wanted to share this testimony this is crazy i just got this update yesterday and i'm telling you i was washed down in tears i just i'm so excited guys all we have to do is give it to jesus any type of growth that is going on in your body that is abnormal should not be there just give it to jesus i prayed with um a couple last year and they gave me permission to share their testimony last year in january they had a a six by four centimeter mass the wife had this and they had been trying to have a baby and um so far nothing had happened for them they were praying and wanted to get free from that and a couple of months later after our prayer she called me up and said it just completely is gone that mass is gone they was trying to get her to have surgery they was just expecting all of this stuff you know to be going on and she didn't have to go through any of that stuff and on top of that they just had their baby last week <laughs> that's our jesus guys that's our jesus he is so good and he will fulfill his promises for us all you have to do is go for it and the lord was just reminding me of you know, these different things that other people had gone through, like in, um, in my family, like my dad, my dad gave me permission to share his testimony too, but my dad had a cyst on his shoulder. It was like the half of the size of an egg. It was just um, there protruding out of his shirt. I was at his church and he had put my hand over there he said look at this and I'm like what is that he was like I don't know but it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I said okay dad he said I want you to pray and I said all right so I started praying for my dad for that cyst to just melt away to be gone to be annihilated by Jesus <laughs> and we believed and we went our way the very next day he was like Elisha oh my gosh like I could tell that this cyst is like small like what is going on i'm like that's god he is so there with you and by the third day my dad was like this thing is gone completely his cyst completely disappeared it it was getting bigger and bigger and when we put jesus on it completely gone do you hear what i'm saying to you god loves us so much he is here anything that you need from jesus you can have it if you want to be healed in your body, you can have it. And I just wanted to um, 
honor the Holy Spirit by sharing these testimonies because it's just in my belly and I just can't sit still <laughs> all last night and all this morning. I was just up thanking Jesus like, thank you, Lord. You are so awesome. You love us so much and you are all powerful and there's nothing you can do. And now I'm at work. I, I just took a small break because all I'm doing, I'm telling you, is I'm walking around and I'm like, thank you, Jesus. You are so awesome and all powerful. And I just wanted to uh, encourage someone, you know, if you are going through anything like this, if you have abnormal growths or cysts, the Holy Spirit put you in my heart. And I wanted to honor him by sharing what he has done. And I want to pray with you quickly so that... Um, you can receive your healing too, okay? Hallelujah. So if this is you or if this is for someone you know, share this with them. And uh, yeah, receive your healing just like we did, just like my dad did, just like um, I did and the lady did and everybody else who is experiencing breakthrough through Jesus. Oh, also the lady that um, I prayed for who had the cysts, or the fibroids, she had a heart issue. And that reminds me of the lady that I prayed for. I actually prayed for a couple of people who had MVP, which is a mitral valve prolapse. It's a heart enlargement. It's when the valves in the heart is bulging. It's like, it makes clicking noises and the valves don't close properly. And there's like murmuring and it's just, it hurts. Like, and the doctors say that you would need to have um, corrective surgery for this. Well, this lady didn't want to have corrective surgery for this. And it turns out that a lot of people in her family had heart issues as well. Well, God doesn't care about bloodline issues or things that went on in our families. God wants to break that off of you right now. Hallelujah. And, and as I prayed for the lady who had MVP, um, she experienced heat going through her body. She says, wow, like, heat is going through my arms and, and through my chest and she just felt the power of God on her and her appointment was a couple of weeks later which she went to and that doctor's appointment revealed that she did not have heart enlargement she did not have MVP and she was healed in the name of Jesus so the lady who shared the testimony yesterday about the fibroids also got a clean bill of health on her heart hallelujah glory to our Jesus he is just so good so I'm going to take a moment and I'm just going to pray for you hi Jessica hallelujah how are you so let's pray right now if you know anyone who have anything going on in their body they need to be healed cysts growths any type of abnormalities mvp it doesn't matter there's nothing too hard for god let's just pray right now so father i thank you so much for what you have done and what you are doing through your people thank you for these testimonies and we honor you holy spirit for what you have done we honor you, Holy Spirit, for what you're doing right now. I just pray, God, that you will touch everyone under the sound of my voice and that you will go into their bodies and that you will move all abnormalities. We repent right now if we've come into agreement with any sicknesses. We repent right now if we've opened up any doors to darkness at all. If this is a bloodline situation, we give that to you. We lay our bloodline at your feet right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that we have been sensing and going through, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are all powerful and we break every chain. We break every yoke. We break every growth and we command it to report to the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that you are causing it to dissipate, to disappear completely, completely off of their bodies. Thank you, Father. Divine healing flows from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Remove all sickness. Thank you, Father. We stand on your word. Your word says to bless you, all oh, our soul, and forget not all of your benefits. For you forgive all of our iniquities and you heal 
all of our disease. Yes. So we bless you, Jesus. We thank you now. and We are receiving every promise in your word. And everything that is not like you, it must get off. It must leave now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So receive that. Receive that. Receive it for your family. And just know that God loves you so much. And that's all I wanted to share with you. More testimonies to come. If I have more testimonies, I'm just going to come on here and share them. We are overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So if you have any testimonies to share, share them with me. I would love to hear them. And yeah, be encouraged. God loves you so much. Bye for now. Hallelujah. Bye for now.